Hey there, Polycasters, I'm Elliot. Welcome back to our series on how to create an element in Polymer 2. In this video, we're going to get to know our project's layout. When we left off last time, we had a live environment of a demo running. Let's open up the project in our editor and take a look. So you can see here, we have the Polycast checklist slash demo, and this just simply has demo code. Let's look at the actual project itself and look at the code in this demo. So I'm gonna navigate to my desktop, open up Polycast checklist, and here we are, set up. And in this demo, you can see slash demo, the demo directory, and in there you'll see index.html. Here you'll see what we have over here. Uh, you have hello polycast checklist, and you simply just have polycast checklist, uh, a new element that has been created by our project. And so here you'll see a demo snippet and a template and things that are inside. So now let's take a look at the polycast checklist file. So this is where we actually define our element. In here, you'll see a bunch of different things like an HTML import where we import Polymer, uh, a module, a template where we actually display things. So here you can see hello prop one, and over here you see hello polycast checklist. This prop one right here with the double brackets around it is what we call a one-way data binding. A one-way data binding, all it does is inserts a property into the template. And you can see here in the properties section, we have a prop one, and the default value here is polycast checklist. You can change this to whatever we want. So change this to like uh, polycasters. Save that, go back over to our project, refresh. Hello, polycasters, how's it going? And then you'll also see the definition of this element. It is a class and it extends Polymer element. And below that, you'll see window custom elements define. Then you have a bunch of fancy stuff there. All right, let's go through what the fancy stuff means. Polycast checklist is just calls this getter and returns polycast checklist. So this is just the same thing as saying, define the element called polycast checklist, and then you associate it with a class, which is this definition right here. For now, let's go back and leave it alone. All right, now let's look. Let's look at what else is in our in our directory. We have this bower.json, and in here we have a dependency on Polymer. And you can see in the bower components, which is where the dependencies actually install, you'll see the Polymer directory right here, and you'll see a bunch of different files on there. So in the polycast checklist, you see there's an HTML import for Polymer, which is the Polymer directory, right here. And then you can see right here in the polycast checklist.html file, we import the Polymer element file from the Polymer directory. And in the Polymer directory, we have a Polymer element file, which defines Polymer element. And it's then used right here. So those are the basics of how a Polymer element is laid out. In the next video, we'll mock up our element and start improving it using Polymer. See you soon.